Welcome to this episode of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up our last one where we engraved a coin. This time, we're going to uh, attempt to cut it out. Now, one of the things I understand from the, the coin to ring making community is, uh, you know, one of the things they, they do is they sell this hole punch to punch a hole in the coin. So they put it in a semi dome block to round it out in, in a press. So instead of using um, a die and a punch, what I thought is why not use the CNC to customize sizes and that kind of stuff. So instead of just cutting a hole, I'm going to cut a rocket. So yes, I'm going to cut a rocket out of a, a half a ringgit coin here from Malaysia. So let's uh, go take a time lapse look. Now I'm not going to bore you. In the last video I showed how to line it all up. So I've already done that. I've got it all set up. So we're just going to cut to the chase and go to the time lapse. Okay, well, instead of you seeing me cut that uh, coin, you're going to see me cut a different coin. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the um, video up in the upper corner. I'm going to talk about this a second before I cut it. So while cutting the other coin, I, I, the, the bit broke. And, and one of the things I wanted to take a second uh, to talk about is, is the metallurgy of the various coins. So one of the things about that coin is whatever the content of that metal really gummed up the uh, bit quite a bit and, and it caused it to jam up and you'll, you'll see it, I'll, I'll put it in the frame uh, up above and you can see how it uh, did that. So one of the things, you know, you'll have to kind of experiment with bits, bit types and feed rate speeds like anything else because one of the things about doing these coins I found is, is it's, it's hard to gauge um, the material of the coin to the cutting speed and, and cutter. So that's kind of a problem because again that, that Malaysian uh, uh, 50 cent piece uh, was kind of gummy and what happened is, it, is you're probably seeing in the, in the video or saw in the video clip in the corner uh, or the side whichever do it, uh, it, it grabbed the hold of the bit and matter of fact um, well right here it is actually I'm not sure if you can see it, it shows in the video, but you, you, if you feel it, it, it's like a really, really kind of soft, gummy metal, almost like what, what I refer to as a white metal. Um, and, and it really grabbed the bit. And so, anyways, we're going to go ahead and try it on this one and see what happens. Now, I've gone with a little bit bigger bit. I'm not sure how this is all going to turn out at the end of the day, uh, because I'm going to run it the same G code, but hey, we'll see. What the heck. Well, here we are back. So we ran into another little bit of a problem. So this time we didn't break the bit, but as you probably saw in the video, um, these chucks started to move in the vise, and there's a lot of pressure on it. What what happened is this got hot and melted into the plastic. You can see it's 
it's um, holding on here. So uh, that's part of the problem. And so this contracted and allowed it, and then allowed it to slide. Um, so I'm going to have to maybe make some modifications. Uh, one of the things, you know, maybe putting um, a piece of a thin craft foam inside here for compression might actually work out pretty good. Um, the concept, it got pretty deep before it uh, actually ran into a bit of a problem. I think if I, I think the other thing is, is I need to slow it down. I think I'm getting too aggressive speed-wise. Um, so I think that's part of the problem. Well, I'm going to go back a little bit to the drawing board on this, rethink my s speed and feeds on this, because uh, I'm running um, 80 millimeter, 80, yeah, 80 millimeters a second at uh, 0 0.05 millimeter cut pass, which I thought would be would be okay. Uh, I think I'm going to have to slow it down substantially uh, to do this. I think I'm going to have to drop to at least 50 millimeters. So. Uh, uh, I'm going to call it that for the video today, and then I'm going to come back in another video. I'm going to do some experimentation offline, and then come back, and then once I get one done, and uh, show you guys. So, hey, thumbs up, subscribe, see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.